What's going on YouTube? Clay Kizol back again with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius video and today we have the news. And it's not really that much news in my opinion. I, I was looking for a little bit more, but hey, I, I think it's because I'm not really excited for the banner so much. I think it's what's kind of killing the vibe this week. But hey, we do what we can. So the first thing we actually are going to do is look at the banner because a lot of the uh, the news has to do with this unit. So we have Citra here, which you guys uh, may be aware or not aware of, of who she is in the story. But I'm going to leave that to you guys. And Citra is going to be one of the CG units, meaning she has a limit burst that has an animation along with it, like a nice little graphic animation. She has Mechmedi and Lottie to join her along in a banner that is just like the old times. One five-star base, one four-star base, and one three-star base. Man, do I miss those when it comes to really great units. Moving on down, uh, this uh, banner will be released this Friday. Remember, you cannot get CG, uh, or Citra, excuse me, with your unit of choice tickets until after our banner is gone. But for the other units like Mouth and uh, Cersei, their banner will be over. You can pick them up in the UOC if you so choose. Uh, looking at this, she does have a step-up banner similar to what Hio and uh, Reagan had in the terms of the 11k step-up. Everybody can do this one time, and I think it's excellent value. Uh, we get 1.5 times rate up to Citra. We get a 5% Trust Moogle and a 30% Rainbow Ticket. And I do believe anybody who has the uh, 3,000 Lapis that they can, uh, you know, splurge out a little bit, I guess. And, you know, Dolphins, Wells, etc. I think you sum it up at least to there. The 30% rainbow ticket is a high-end ticket, man. I, I, I know 10%, 90% blue, 30, 30%, 70% blue. But 30% is super high, guys. I mean, next to guaranteed, it's one of the highest things we can get when it comes to actually getting a rainbow. So I really like that. Then we get a 10% and then five times Citra Summon. In my opinion, uh, I'm going to go over this banner here real quick. I am doing that, and that's it. I'm just going to do the step up, have fun. Step ups are always fun. It's 11K. Let's have some drinks. Let's summon. Let's see what happens. You know what I mean? And that five times rate up is always fun to see how many Citra you can actually pop out, or if you get zero. But I see people get like five in there. It's crazy. Uh, moving on down, let's talk about the actual unit, Citra. Citra is a five star base going up to seven star summoning unit. Um, and overall, you know, used sim similar to the way Garnet, Yuna, uh, Aiko, or Aiko, excuse me, s kind of the same deal here. We're going to have uh, mostly similar to Yuna, in my opinion. Super Trust Match Reward, Bad Rosa, Attack 12, uh, Magic 110, Spirit 150, Evo Magic plus 30%. That is insane, guys. You definitely want to be trying to get the Super Trust Match Reward. If you get like three, maybe try to go for the fourth one, I guess, if you somehow get super lucky, unlucky in a way. Um, I think the Super Trust Match Reward is very useful when it comes to actually summoning and doing damage. Obviously, it is one of the only uh, weapons in the game, if not the only weapon in the game, that is going to give us Evo Magic on a weapon uh, so far. So I give that a thumbs up. Now, it's where her Trust Match Reward is where I'm kind of feel a little iffy about it. Okay? Uh, Heroes Val Light. Reduce Dark Resist by 30%. So that's already a knockback. I, I don't know why they have to have this on here. I know it's Heroes Val Light, but still, I, I don't understand. I, I, whatever. I guess I guess it has to be on there. Uh, so, But still, it, it makes me a little upset. And Boost Spirit by 60%. A high-end Spirit buffing percent there on a Materia. Uh, when we get to where we can actually stack, uh, stack up these stats by 400%, that's going to be very useful. And LB Gauge Fill Rate, and it's 50%. So it increases your LB uh, Gauge Fill Rate by 50%. So it, it's not a bad TMR. Uh, by any means, I don't know why it's hard for me to fall in love with it, uh, but there it is. It just is for some reason. Maybe because it's just not. <clears throat> maybe it, because it doesn't say increase a light resist by thirty percent. Maybe I just want a little bit more on my trust mastery rewards at this point. But again, it's definitely high tier TMR with a sixty percent spirit, fifty percent lemon burst fill rate. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You can only you can't be stacked as you can see there. Now, if we look at her abilities, I'm just going to go over quickly what she can do. Uh, we're going to not really look at these. She has an ability to actually fill up the limber, uh, the Esper Gauge. Uh, she can do two different things, I think, with it. As you can see here, uh, HP for all allies. I think the other one is damage mitigation. So you're going to be able to put that uh, Esper fill rate up by doing those two things, which is awesome. We want options. Next, she does a lot of hybrid magic damage. Or hybrid magic damage. Come on, Clay. Hybrid damage uh, that she can do by spinning Esper orbs. So essentially, you take your evocation uh, gauge down. You can do hybrid damage with her. They have high-end multipliers, but in the end, I really just don't think that it's that great of damage at all um similar to lead to where uh similarly where yuna was where she would spend the limit burst gauge to summon like valifor and things like that she's going to be able to do damage in the same uh at, uh, same way but she's it's really just not that much damage it's hyper damage it's going to be pushed against the defensive spirit uh although a lot of hyper damage dealer users like fravia and mouth can get away with it i just don't think she's one of them um she does have very high esper damage though like when you actually summon an esper she's going to be dishing out the damage really well especially if you have the stmr on her um she's going to have the seven star stats 
to back her up to make sure she survives. But overall, just not the greatest of units for me. <clears throat> If we look at her CG animation, it shows a little bit of uh, humana, 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 hubba, hubba, woo, like stuff in it. And I think that's what tried to sell the unit. I think a lot of people really enjoy uh, Citra. I'm just not a fan. I don't like the horn on the head thing. I don't, I, I, I'm just not a fan. I'm sorry. I'm just, it's just me. And looking at her kid, it makes me even more not of a fan. She's just, I think she's a very lackluster seven star and our seven star, uh, maybe, it's just not somebody you need to be going hard for, in my opinion. Now, if you love her, great. If you love her, you love her pink hair, you love her going ham, you want to summon with her, that's fine. Go get it. But I'm giving you my uh, opinion that this is a, definitely a skippable banner as far as that is concerned. Uh, we'll go over more of uh, Mac Medi and um, Lottie in the future about their actual abilities. But let's go ahead and look at their TMRs right now. So we have Machine Power, Boost Attack by 40% and Nullify Paralysis and Stone. I actually really like this uh, TMR. Considering the fact that most of the time you have to be um, resist to paralyze and stone, they're two of the most popular ones along with Confuse in my opinion, because they really fuck you up in the fight so they want to make sure that happens to you. Um, you always have to sacrifice some kind of, uh, you know, attack or uh, a, a, a slot in your accessories or something to get rid of these nasty status helmets. Well, this is your chance to add it 40% uh, to your whole attack percent stat and be uh, resist to two of the most common uh, status elements in the game. So I think this is a very good pickup. Get a couple of those if you would like. And then Lottie has her Trustmaster Award, Lottie's Robe, Magic 30, Defense 25, Spirit 25, HP 10%, and Magic 20%. Now, it's not the highest robe in the world when it comes to flat magic stat, but we do get a lot of magic percent there, so that could be good. I'm not going to say it's a must-have or you must farm it, but I can see it being very useful when we have to try to hit that 400% uh, magic cap when it gets released and put up please Gumi, please put that in there now we want it anyway so talking about this banner overall i think it's very 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 skippable unless you want your waifu citra there she is going to be useful in some situations but she's not going to be the best option in a lot of situations uh and i want to harp on this next week or the next week after that we're getting the halloween event i'm sure um i have no confirmed things i'm hoping that barrel which is the tonberry unit and there's also a vampire-esque unit um that was also a fan festa unit that won so i'm thinking both of those might be on a, uh, on the halloween banner to be honest i think you kind of want to save for that we don't know what they're going to be like they're probably going to be well i don't know if they're going to make fan festa units limited time so we'll have to see about that but there will be resummons for like gl sakura she could be getting her seven star uh very very strong unit in my opinion one of the best uh, magic damage dealers and hopefully the best at seven star as well so overall i think you're saving your lapis i think you're not doing any single uh, 5k pulls or whatever, uh, you know, straight 5k, 11k pulls. You could do 11k here on the step up and just have fun and try to get Citra. You could get lucky. Uh, you could get that 30% five uh, star ticket and save it for the uh, Halloween event. That would be my advice for you. But other than that, I, super skippable unless you really, really love her. Uh, moving on, we do have uh, Piercing Light. I think this is going to be the story uh, based around Citra to tell us more about her. You guys are going to be able to go in here just like any story event, uh, farm up a lot of uh, Awakening Chris, or excuse me, Ability Awakening Chris, things like that. Uh, and we have a couple of limited time equipment, which I think you really want to give this Evoker's Horn, uh, put it on the head, <laughs> just like Citra, which I don't, I don't like, but hey. Uh, Defense 3, Spirit 3, Magic 15%, Spirit 15%, not bad. Evo Madge 10%. So this is going to be our chance to have... A, 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 Evo Magic, which is Esper Damage, thrown on top of your head uh, for later use. So 10%, that's cool. It's going to be a very, uh, very unique hat, so I think you should pick that up. The gun is not. Attack 58, have a chance of uh, inflicting paralysis. Not the best in the world. So overall, I'm very excited to do the story event. Always got to be getting them Awakening Chris ready to go, but there's that. And then we also have our unique, uh, or excuse me, unique, unit intro quest, uh, Citra. So you can go in here and see Citra's Limit Burst. And let me tell you guys, whoo! Cover the children's eyes because you're going to see something crazy in there. I, it's not that bad. I just like to hype it up. Uh, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Get you some summon tickets. Get you some soul pots, some star quartz. Always good to be able to use a unit before uh, you actually have to go in and, and hang around with it. We do have the item world coming back. And I uh, got super sad. And I'll tell you why. This time go around we can do hammers, axes, uh, rods, or staffs, excuse me, and daggers. So... I was like, okay, yeah, that reminded me. I need to go make my Ayaka STMR. I have three Ayaka, but I have like 10 Fravia, 
And like, I totally have like 10 CG last well. Why can't you give me my cloud? And now I have to search after another Ayaka. Come on, game. But I can't even make that, so that makes me sad. But item world's always a great thing to be wasting your time in. Because um, it's not really wasting it. You're, you're making your items better. Your S STMRs, your TMRs better. Always a great, uh, great fun. You also get rewards for doing it along with it not costing your normal energy. You have those orbs that you guys can spend. So I think it's always fun when that's around. It's always a good time. Uh, last but not least on the news this week, we do have our like trial event to coincide with the King Mog event. It is a Marlboro, uh, which means that Plant Killer is going to be great. And then you want to? It says you want to do fire damage. It says that we can break its defense and spirit. So to me, it just and it says you can one shot it. So to me, it just seems like you can take a Trans Terra Seven Star in there with your Trans Terra Seven Star, uh, do the fire uh, chaos wave or whatever. You could take a uh, Heo in there with another Heo, bam, 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 knock him down, or just take fire chainers and mess him up. I don't think this is going to be very hard. Looking at the rewards, we get another lance, which I I'm just I don't want any more lances. Stop it, stop it. I don't want any more. Attack 109, though. Dear God. And Dra Dragoon Lance is enabled. Boost Fire, Ice, and Lightning Resist by 20%. The one good thing about these last two uh, weapons where they did have Elemental Resist attached to them, which is very, very strong uh, and pretty good. So we're going to be doing that and getting that. So you definitely want to get it. And you definitely want to get Hasikos or whatever his name was last time. But just, I don't know why. I just can't get too excited about it. Use three or more Limit Burst in, a, uh, in the fight. So I think in the beginning, we're just not going to do any damage. We're going to probably have to have Status Resist on everyone. And we're probably going to take like a Garnet and, or an Ace or something. The Ace would probably be slower, to be honest, since we have to do three, where we just have Garnet with Limit Burst Fill Rate on uh, per turn. And then we don't really do that much damage, so we don't push any thresholds. We just make sure we're very defensive. Some of those three espers and then one shot it down. Uh, the Earth Resist is going to be great, and then we have to defeat it with magic if you guys want that 5%. Trust Moogle. Uh, other than that, guys, that's going to be it for the news. There's not that much going on. Uh, so we have, uh, you know, it's kind of a good thing. I mean, you're going to have to complete the story, but I know a lot of you guys are still farming that UOC and then Mo King Mog Shop. Make sure you guys get that. One of the most important items in the game. If you have to put the story off for a little bit, that's okay. Get the UOC ticket in the King Mog Shop. So... I am going to be going into a little bit of JP news, only because it really, uh, really, I like it. I'm excited. So I want to talk about it a little bit because a lot of people have been asking me. So if you want to stay away from any kind of JP um, unit release spoilers, now I'm not going to, there's no story spoilers, but unit release spoilers, let me know. Uh, just go ahead and leave now. Comment down below. Let, tell me about the video. Give a thumbs up if you, if you enjoyed it. So I'll give you guys time to leave so you don't get spoiled. Alright guys, so that's right. The new unit in Japan I've been waiting to talk about. I want to talk to you guys. Have you guys seen her? CG Charlotte. Charlotte, that's right. The Saber lookalike. I'm so excited for her. They nailed her design. They nailed her CG limit burst. It is it is, it is sick. She like makes this whole tower get protected. She she looks like a knight. I'm telling you, man. She she has like this huge armor. She has this huge shield, this huge sword. I mean, she's beautiful. Uh, she's very, you know what I mean? They made her look amazing. Uh, she's attractive. She's powerful. Uh, you know, love at first sight, essentially. That blonde hair, blue eyes, babe. I I'm down. Uh, but anyway, it's similar. To, a lot of you guys maybe not, don't know this about me, but I really like the, the character Saber uh, from the anime. I don't know if you guys know who Saber is. I think they share a lot of looks and similarities, so I am very excited for her. I'm going to be trying to pull for her STMR. I don't even know what her STMR is, but I want four of her because she's Bay. So, very excited about that. Uh, if you guys are playing JP, best of luck if you guys were pulling for her. But I just want to touch on that because it's really, really cool. You guys should definitely check her out and see what she looks like because they, they knocked that shit out the park. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're excited about Citra and why I should maybe change my mind on her because she's got two thumbs down for me right now. And then subscribe for future content. Guys, I looked at my viewership. Half is subscribers, half is non-subscribers. Click that button. It helps me, okay? It really helps me. And if you want to be alerted about my videos, if you're missing the videos, click the bell too. YouTube's going through some weird changes, and sometimes my videos don't even show up for people. So if you click that bell next to the subscribe button, it'll alert you when I make a new video. But after all that, we'll catch you guys in the next video.